guys, welcome to today's vlog. I wanted to start out by reminding you of my favorite book service. If you are a bookworm or you wanna gift something nice to your family or friends, I highly recommend that you check out Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a highly popular and fast growing book service. So basically what they do is their team bets hundreds of books every single month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. So you can spend more time reading and less time researching. What I love is that they support small authors so they'll offer you selections from newer authors that you might not otherwise have heard about and it's just a great way to learn about new books and new authors and I like that I don't have to spend time researching which book I want to read this month they just make it really easy and it comes in these beautiful hardcover designs with the logo here on the corner plus it's risk-free so you can skip any month at any time without being charged plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction you can get your first book for just $9.99 with code flower so this month I chose Paper Names by Susie Luo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This one is interesting because it's not like anything I've ever read before. An unexpected act of violence brings together two families in this propulsive and sweeping story of love, identity, and the American experience. So my parents are immigrants from Romania, so I think this is going to be really interesting for me to read as a family of immigrants from China and just kind of see what their experience was like and compare it to the experiences that my family has shared with me. So this would make a great gift if you want to gift this to somebody in your life or even yourself. So head to bookofthemonth.com to check out their other picks and use code flowers to get your first book for just $9.99. It's currently Saturday morning. I have a brunch oof, for Alexa, her birthday brunch at 12. So I'm just spending the morning getting caught up on YouTube and just kind of like recouping. Let me find a good spot for you guys. I wanted to start off this video talking about acupuncture puncture because I got a couple of comments on my 12 months of con con try <laughs> 12 months of trying to conceive video about acupuncture. And I just wanted to address it, especially as a Christian. So some of the comments were saying that I shouldn't be doing acupuncture because I'm a Christian and acupuncture is against Christianity. And I just wanna say, I totally understand where this mindset may be coming from because I Googled that before I signed up for acupuncture. I actually Googled the same thing. I Googled is acupuncture against Christianity because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going against my religion by practicing another religion, it confirmed what I had already thought, which is that the practice of acupuncture is not a religious practice. It can be if the practitioner introduces things and chants and whatever about a religion, but the way that acupuncture works is through acupressure. So we have pressure points throughout our body. The theory is that the needles inserted into certain areas of the body at certain times helps to heal the body in whatever way. I'm not a doctor. I don't don't know the science behind it but the idea is it's a physical thing that they are doing to your body not a spiritual thing not a mental emotional thing it's a physical thing that helps your body feel better to me i was satisfied with that answer i don't think that i am sitting by doing acupuncture i really don't but i totally understand where that's coming from and i think it depends on the pr practitioner that you go to it's simply the same thing as going to a dentist or getting your nails done it's something physical that's being done to your body. That's that. I am gonna get ready to go to brunch. I got a couple of really cute dresses from Marshalls. I went the other day and I found this really cute pink dress. It's like a hot pink, silky little dress and it has a slit. It is so cute. It was only $16. I'm not gonna wear it to brunch today because it's a little bit too much. I also found this little simple dress. I really thought this would be the one, but I took it home to try it on and it's just like way too wide on the sides, but it was a cute idea. And then I found this dress. This is just like a little basic flowery dress. This is cute. I just don't think it's doing anything for me. And then I have like no dresses. You guys know this is the amount of dresses that I have and like they're just not the brunch vibe so I had my mom bring me a bunch of her dresses that I could try on so I think I'm gonna wear this little jumpsuit because it's like a nice brunch place I almost forgot to tell you guys I got a new Dyson my mom got me this one for my birthday and I cannot be happier it's so much better than the v6 that we had that was like four years old it's got a bigger tank it's more powerful it's cuter I love the copper color here and it came with a bunch of heads but these are the two main ones a carpet head and then a hard floor head and this performs really well I don't know but I labeled them 
so that we wouldn't get them confused and it just works so 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 well it doesn't die super powerful and i cannot be happier with this purchase i'll link it down below i requested a mid-tier one so i didn't get like the 800 dollars one i think this one was 400 so it's not the newest but it's not the oldest that they sell it's like somewhere in the middle and it works amazing i'm just so happy with it if you've never tried a dyson vacuum it is so worth it it's so lightweight it just makes cleaning so much fun for example i just vacuumed this carpet just now and this is all of the freaking dust and carpet hairs that it picked up my other vacuum could never like it would never even pick up anything on the carpet but this stuff was on the carpet can you believe that i haven't vacuumed in a week so this is a week's worth of stuff but i cannot believe that okay this is the jumper that i'm wearing to brunch it's my mom's so i have no idea where it's from but it's super cute and super casual and i'm just wearing the heels i always wear these are from princess polly straightened my hair did my makeup we're going to moxie's on las olas i've never been but i've been wanting to go there ever since it opened recently so let's see if it's good and I'm having a very low energy Sunday for some reason Sundays are just not my day I just feel sluggish and I don't know if it's because I'm sad that the weekend is over or almost over so anyways we're gonna get out of the house we're gonna go to the farmers market and I'm gonna wear my new shoes these are my custom Nikes that I made these are the invisible run threes and I designed them myself because the only ones that they had were pink so I I think they're really cute. They have amazing arch support and they're nice and chunky. I got a nine and a half because they said at the running store that you're supposed to get a little bit bigger. It's gonna be my first walk in them. I'm very excited. They're so cushiony and soft and I just can't wait. I really hope these are the ones, even if they're not, I've kind of exhausted all of my options. So these are gonna be my shoes regardless, but let's go to the farmer's market and have a good Sunday. activities of the day we stopped at the grocery store this is two hundred dollars worth of groceries let's go through it are you ready okay we got some buy one get one sargento cheese cheese sticks whole grain bread milk cheddar cheese and lunch meats for aj's lunches he wanted to try these mandarin oranges there we have it broccoli bananas pasture-raised eggs pita chips for buffalo dip for aj and then i got buy one get one hummus with these chips which are super expensive for a small quantity but they are gluten free and they're made with brown rice flour so i figured those are pretty good for you big score today rao sauce was on sale two dollars off so we got four of those hey stop it Black bean burgers, I like these with my eggs for breakfast. And then this was another good find, no sugar added popsicles. AJ just tried one and he said they're really good. So that's a win. And then of course we stocked up on our protein shakes. 
Yes, I know we can get them cheaper at Costco, but we don't have a membership and we keep forgetting to ask people. So two of these yogurt drinks, these were on sale. Fresh meatballs and a piece of steak, whole grain pasta, and that's $200 for you. Oh, I also returned those items to Marshall's. Yeah. So I'll show you what I got. Yeah, I didn't like the dress. I, you were them. I got more stuff. Oh yeah, is it good? Got a new linen shirt, $16 from Marshalls. All right, I haven't tried this on, but little black dress. And then lastly, I haven't tried this on either. This is just a sports bra, because I always need sports bras. And Marshalls is my favorite place for sports bras, believe it or not. $15. Good morning, happy Monday. We are going to work today. I'm wearing my new shoes again. So yesterday I had the inserts in that I bought from the running store. So I had the new shoes plus the inserts and the inserts started hurting me a lot. So today I took out the inserts and I'm just wearing them like as is and I'm gonna see if my feet hurt. And I really hope they don't because I'm completely out of options. We will see, we will see. Good morning, let's go to work. I'm not used to working on Mondays, but it is what it is. I'm taking one of these Core Life shakes. These have become my life. I also have a banana and let's go. Okay, it's after work. We're going on a walk. I didn't film anything today because work is just crazy, you guys. I'm at the front desk all day, so it's like hard to film anyway, but AJ's moving his car. Did I show you his new rims? There is new rims, baby. They look so good. Totally makes the car look so cool. So anyways, we're gonna go on a walk. Enjoy the evening. Continue to test out my new shoes. They're gonna send us a new printer for free. Okay, straight up head. Relax your shoulders. Neutral face. I'm gonna come out. We're gonna put a drop in on. I'll put it in my own eye. Is there enough in there? Or do you need one? It's enough, I think. The same one? Yes, we did one, oh. two, one, mm -hmm. two, three, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. drops. Or you, in a sample, you have more than. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I left you like a bunch of samples and another one for we'll there. One oh, yeah. She's like it. <laughs> I always like to hold one of these. Just let, <laughs> it, just let it marinate. Uh -huh. Just close your eyes, let it marinate. So we all took a picture. We sampled it in one eye. We then. <laughs> <laughs> It has to be here. Tell me you have it. It's here. <laughs> okay, my bye. Okay guys, it's Tuesday, three o'clock. I have to run to my acupuncture appointment, so I brought a change of clothes. The shoes feel a lot better without the inserts. I will say that. They feel a lot better without the inserts, so I just wasted 50 bucks on the inserts. No foot pain whatsoever so far, and it's been two days. Let's go. I also have dinner from lunch. I'm home from acupuncture. It was pretty good. I actually fell asleep this time, which was really relaxing. I left there feeling really, really sleepy. So I just did a garage arm workout. I just did some cleaning presses and some shoulder presses basically, which is my first upper body workout in a couple of weeks. And I did my first leg workout, as you guys saw with Anna this week, and it felt really good. I just did 25s on each side for squats and deadlifts. It felt good. I'm really sore from it, which is really sad. That means I haven't been working out, but that's okay. I have my appointment tomorrow with the sports medicine doctor, tomorrow at 10 a.m., but it's all the way in Delray, which is super far, and then I have to go to work. So lots of appointments this week, but I'm very hopeful, feeling good. It feels good to just work out again, even if my hip is still clicking. At least I'm still moving and feel like myself a little bit. So I'm hoping Hoping that he can give me some answers or some exercises that I can do to stop the hip clicking. So that's what's going on. Also, might be doing a CO2 laser on my face tomorrow because my mom is having this person or this company come do a demo for us because we're thinking of buying a CO2 laser, which is a skin resurfacing laser. And I'm kind of nervous. So that was like super last minute and random. She asked me if I wanted to do it. So I think I'm gonna do it unless there's a reason why I shouldn't do it. I'm gonna do it. My motto in life, I guess. 
Happy Wednesday. I just got out of my sports medicine appointment and it was so long. It was two hours. We got some answers. So they did an x-ray which came back normal which I expected and then they also did an ultrasound of the left hip to check for tears or anything. No tears. I was kind of disappointed honestly because I wanted an answer. So then we did some adjustments. He cracked my back. He cracked my neck and he like aligned my feet together and he saw that my left foot is longer than my right foot. And I was like yeah great so then he pulled my right foot to like pull my hip and he basically fixed the misalignment so he said that's probably part of the cause of my hip snapping and that regular alignments should benefit or like should help me going forward so the conclusion was that i have it band snapping syndrome but thankfully i have no tears or anything like that so he gave me some exercises and he said to just google like exercises for it band snapping so i'm going to be doing those every other day he said focusing on stability versus is increasing weight so he said to lay off the squats and other things like that and to just focus on these rehab exercises and he said it could take a couple of months which I'm not happy about so basically I gotta be doing those exercises I'm gonna try to do them after work today it's 12 52 so I'm gonna eat lunch and then go to work for the afternoon but I'll try to do some exercises um, and hopefully it gets better over time because it's really annoying. Oh, they also did a, I saw like four different doctors and like two different nurses because everyone specialized in something else. This one person did a massage on my IT bands and my quads and he, it's like a fascial release massage. It was so painful where you like, they roll the skin to release the fascia from the muscle. It was so painful, but it also felt so good at the same time. And he said that that will help with my muscles feeling good. Also, he told me to keep stretching or to start stretching because I never stretch. He said I have stiffness all over my body. So basically I need to stretch and do my exercises, lay off the squats and just other than that, just wait it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so some of the exercises that he told me to do were pretty simple. They're just called end range mobility exercises, something like that. So basically, staying in a static position, rotating outwards, rotating again, extending, lowering. So doing this several times, multiple times. Same on the other leg. And then there's also one for on the floor like this. So extend, Rotate outwards, bring the foot out, this hurts a lot. Come back, rotate inwards, and do that. That one is extremely painful on my hip, but that makes sense because I'm probably very weak. Another one is the 90-90, but when you're here and you're, and you're on your back leg, you're supposed to raise this up slowly and then transition and do the same thing. So this works the hip a lot. Those are just a couple of the exercises that he told me to do and look up. So yeah, I just did a couple of them now because I felt like it, but I'm gonna get ready to go to work and then I'll continue doing some of these later today. Also, one more, if you have an object, you can put it on the floor and then you go like this. Extend your hip like this, go over the object and then bring it back down. Oof. Very, very painful. How long should I leave this on for? Okay, this is immediately post cool peel. That's the name of the treatment I got done. Not painful at all. It felt like a little, like a little flick. Compared to the Morpheus, it was a breeze. We did a little bit of topical numbing for like 20 minutes, but it's really not that bad. And we're thinking of getting this laser for our office because it's great for skin resurfacing. So the Morpheus goes deep and it stimulates your collagen production, but we don't have a resurfacing laser which 
basically burns off the layer of your skin. It helps with scars, acne scars, pore size, pigmentation, wrinkles. So that's what we're thinking of doing. I'll let you know how I heal tomorrow, but I'm excited because I was looking at their Instagram and they have a really good befores and afters. You can just search up cool peel and it's really cool. So what a day. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm actually not going to work today, which is so fun and exciting. I was finally able to slip away for a day because our new receptionists are picking up what I was putting down, meaning they can handle a day by themselves without me, which is so, so good, <laughs> so happy. So I'm gonna be catching up on YouTube and I feel like I'm getting back into my routine, which I'm really, really happy about. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys what my face looks like after yesterday's CO2. So still pretty red, especially on the neck, but I can put on makeup today if I want to. So I'll probably put on some tinted sunscreen and just kind of leave it at that. I don't really mind looking red because I know that it's improving my skin and the results are gonna be so, so worth it. So subscribe if you wanna see like the final result because I'll definitely update you guys. But I also wanted to show you my current reads. I'm currently reading two different books. I'm not sure if I talked about this before, The Ministry of Intercession by Andrew Murray. And it's actually so interesting because he is older. This was written in like the late 1800s. So it's a little bit hard to read in terms of like they use phrases that we don't use anymore, but I kind of enjoy that. So I've been reading this very, very slowly. It's all about praying for other people, which I need to do more of. And then I just started reading this. Chelsea recommended this, Let Us Fear Him, all about fearing God and whatnot. I just started this, so I can't say anything so far, but I really, really like this one. It just like opens your eyes to the power of prayer. So I've been reading those two in the morning and AJ's been <laughs> using this flexi spot adjustable side table which i think is hilarious he like sits here and has his laptop while we're watching tv we just finished watching beef on netflix it was such a good show and we're currently watching succession obviously we just started love and death on hbo as well but that's like really it's like all about adultery so we don't love that one but it's entertaining hello how are you doing okay Conclusion on the shoes from the last three or four days is that I really really like them They feel really good without the inserts Don't fall for the inserts you guys. They're not worth it. But yeah, these are the ones I designed myself I got the little pebble pattern on the bottom and you can design them to be any color that you want So I think that's really really cool. So yeah, I think i'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for coming along Should be back to my two videos a week schedule starting like this next video. Love you guys so much Don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and check out book of the month Everything will be linked down below and i'll see you guys in the next video. Bye